Yet even after so long, it's clear that some still choose not to let facts get in the way of their own objectives. The words of Robin Swan, the then Northern Ireland Health Minister, on the 21st of March 2022. This was during an assembly vote wherein Robin was attempting to, and, and indeed quite successfully, pushed through the extension of the Coronavirus uh, Special Powers Act. This is the powers that allowed um, him and uh, his, well, for, for want of a better phrase, his boss, uh, Michael McBride, to push through lockdowns, school closures, mandatory face mask wearing, social distancing, um, all the stuff that didn't work prior that, that Robin um, believes will at some stage work again in the future. And in that short snippet there, you could hear him saying that even, you know, there's, there's some still choose, after all this time, some still choose not to let facts get in the way of their own objectives. My grandmother used to have this phrase, and it says, people in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. And that, that comment would just be lost on Robin. This is a guy who, when the facts aren't there, he makes them up. He speaks his own truths, and he kind of just, he kind of just makes a lot of this stuff up on the hop. And I, we, us at CJs, we have documented it at length on the website, citizenjournals.com, with all the receipts and all the evidence and all the videos and all the documentation. This guy wings it for the best part of the time. And a lot of his speeches that, he, that, that you see him reading, he didn't write them. But I digress. This short video, um, I want to show you an example of Robin Swan being a hypocrite. And the first clip that I'm going to show you is an extension of that small snippet that you just seen that was, as I say, the 21st of March this year. Then I'm going to end it by taking you back just a few months to November of 21, wherein Robin Swan, <laughs> uh, he, he, he literally just made shit up on this, but... Uh, I'll have to let you see it rather than try to explain it. Spread of infection or contamination relating to coronavirus in Northern Ireland. Of course, while the order provides powers to make regulations, it would still remain a matter for the executive to decide on the need to make further regulations. While that mightn't be a detail that suits the narrative being presented by some, is a very clear point of fact nonetheless. This is not the first time either that this House has in recent weeks debated extensions to the element of the 2020 Act, yet I am aware, however, of some inaccurate claims emanating from quarters as to the real purpose and rationale of today's order. Whilst, of course, occasionally people will come forward with entirely genuine questions or seek particular points of clarification, not for the first time there are a very small number of people including some in this House who really should know better and who are seeking to deliberately misinform and distort the truth on what we are actually doing here today. Yet even after so long, it's clear that some still choose not to let facts get in the way of their own objectives. Uh Can you believe what you just heard? Disinformation, misinformation, inaccurate claims, all from a guy who pushes disinformation, misinformation and, make, and makes inaccurate claims. Robin's the gift that keeps on giving for, for citizen journalists like so, likes of ourselves who aren't beholden to um, editors or funders or shareholders. Uh, and we can call it as we see it. Uh, and everything that we call uh, is based on facts and evidence which we provide. We just don't make these claims and then just sort of leave, leave them hanging. So we, I mean, we can prove that Robin Swan, that Robin Swan lies. It's just what he does, you know. And it's either a sign of incompetence or a sign of incompetence and sinisterism. Um, I just opt for incomp incompetence to be truthful. I think he's just fed stuff, and half half the stuff he's fed, he has no clue about. So, this second clip is from the 29th of November of twenty twenty one, and I'm going to let it play through. It's very short. I also added a slide in, um, which I will stop and explain towards the end. But here's a prime example of the then Health Minister for Northern Ireland, Robin Swan, making shit up. 
uh, and refocus and re-energise their, 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 their activity in regards to those things that we actually know that works. It's about wearing face coverings. It's about good hand hygiene, good respiratory hygiene. We all know those things work. We've now seen England re reintroduce those things uh, that we cautioned about them. We cautioned them about removing uh, a number of months ago. Actually, at, at some point, where people were saying we should have kept kept pace with England. England is now reversing to where where we've already been. In. Um, that's just mental. That's just mental. That, as I say, that's Robin Swan speaking on the 29th of November. Now, what we did at the time was we took a snapshot from the Financial Times um, COVID uh, cases, seven-day rolling averages. And as you can see, we've marked here on the 19th of July, so that would be the 19th of July, 21, England dropped their restrictions. You remember, you'll, you'll recall Freedom Day. And what we noticed then in the data um, was that Immediately, cases plummeted after they were dropped. Literally, just plummeted. It's almost as if uh, you could present. You would have a better chance of in, in in this scenario of presenting an argument of how the restrictions were keeping case rates high. Certainly, by looking at this slide, you would have a better argument there as opposed to saying what Robin saying, which is uh, he advised uh, Boris Johnson. You know. This is the wrong move. You need to keep them in. And Robin believes that his his position was vindicated when he made that statement on the 29th of April, or the 29th of November, apologies. And this um, slide was taken on the, let me just see. It, yeah, if you just look sort of to the very right hand side, uh, it was taken in and around about the date that Robin made his, that, that, that claim. And what we see is Northern Ireland, cases spiked they kept their restrictions in certainly masks and they spiked west england's was dropping i mean you can see that northern ireland's pink or purple um and england's is dropping and all bar i think we counted this as a five day period i think it was a five day period um england had higher cases in northern ireland during the whole period of july to the end of november but robin wants you to believe that the ring, the reason why that England's bringing them in again is because they work, and Northern Ireland is a prime example of how they work. That, in fact, what Robin just done was give you a prime example of just how to talk bullshit to 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 nodding dogs who haven't a clue what he's talking about. You know, and 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 just to wrap that up, there, there was a um, Jim Allister. There was a a a thing that we we focus on quite a lot when we're having chats um and the, the robin swan had says he presented the evidence for for vaccine passports and jim allister spoke to him maybe i should do a video on that actually but but uh, jim allister had said to him in the assembly you know where is the evidence and robin swan would respond to say well i contacted ministers privately and and and, and invited them for a private viewing <laughs> like, uh, jim allister responded Brilliantly, he went, but if you sent out the invitations for people to come and view it, why didn't you send the evidence along with the invitations? Why does it need to have a private viewing? And I think the figure of the amount of people who actually took up the, the private viewing, I, I, if I'm wrong, I don't think I'm too far wrong here, was three, three ministers. Now, this is, this is the sort of deceit that you're dealing with. If you have evidence of something, well, what you do is then, you know, if, especially if you're an elected representative, you send it to your to your colleagues to inform them so that when you hold a vote on this vaccine passport thing that they will be best informed. What Robin done was because they didn't have any evidence supporting the vaccine passport's work, he wanted to keep it in-house. Therefore, he invited people one-on-one -on -one to come in to be conditioned and brainwashed. It was called divide and conquer. If you throw it out there to the masses, it might leak into the public domain and there could be a lot of debate around it and therefore people will become too too informed. Um, well, CJ has got, we got it and we posted it on the website and I can tell you now that we've run it past quite significant experts in the field who would be, let's say, the, the leaders in their, in, in, in their respective fields Um. Who just who just dismissed it outright? Like it's it's a it's just a nothing burger. So you got to ask yourself this: 
Robin Swan's accusing other people of making up their own facts, basically just making stuff up to suit their narrative. And this is the same man who makes stuff up to suit his own narrative. Now, you can call that misinformation, you can call that disinformation. There's a reason why he does what he does. He is a hypocrite, but Robin Swan is also a liar. <laughs> 